All right, guys, now this street in Seattle, it is actually crazy how much it looks like Manhattan. I mean, can you believe it? It really looks like the East Village, so much so that actually, yeah, we're in New York, guys. Today, we are apartment hunting in New York City. We're really doing it. I've always wanted to do this, and I'm so excited. I've been to New York about a dozen times, and I've done all the things there is to do. And if there's one city I'd live in besides Seattle, it would probably be New York. But there's one problem. I've never actually been inside a real New York City apartment and I think I need to experience that before I make such a decision. So I decided to pack my bags and do some real New York City apartment hunting. But before we get into the apartment hunt, I wanna give a shout out to today's sponsor, which actually does the one other thing that reminds me of New York, which is investing. So today's sponsor is public.com and it's an app where you can buy and sell stocks as well as follow different investors. It's really cool, it's like this social media platform for investing. So I recently made a profile on public.com, which by the way, it was so easy to sign up. I signed up while I was on the subway in New York City. It's especially great for beginners because you can follow different creators and investors on there. You can follow me. I followed Graham Stefan, of course. I followed my sister Shelby. The app is free and you can start investing with as little as $1. You can also buy slices of a stock rather than the entire stock. So if you want to start investing and get a free slice of a stock today, Today. Click the link below. It takes you to public.com slash Monica Church and that's gonna hook you up with a free slice of a stock and go follow my account on public as well And I'll try and follow you guys back I want to see what you guys are investing into and we can all learn and grow our wealth together So we can hopefully one day afford these apartments in New York City that are super expensive All right, let's go check them out. I have a very special broker helping me with my apartment hunt today. Hi Cash Jordan. Oh my gosh, you're like the king of apartment rentals here. Uh, oh, I almost said Seattle. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Where are you taking me to? So first we've got a place right here in the East Village on First Avenue and 12th Street. Then we are headed to the West Village and then hopefully the doorman at this building in Tribeca I want to see last lets us in. All right, let's go. Smells like they got a fresh coat of paint. Oh. Yeah. It's nice of them, right? That's the least yeah. we can do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we got bedroom number one. So this apartment, most of the time when we rent something like this, we're renting it to somebody that's just kind of starting off in the city. It's a good sized bedroom for this neighborhood at this price, but I think in the grand scheme of what people consider to be a normal sized bedroom, maybe not. Here is the kitchen. Wow. Oh man. There's no counter space. <laughs> There's none. This is your counter space. <laughs> what? Wow, I'm in a I'm in a real New York kitchen right now. So sometimes we get to show these when, well, before the pandemic, we uh -huh. would show these when someone lived here. And a lot of people would put like a rolling counter or something over here oh. in this specific layout. So like Okay. This seems useless, but this might save the apartment. That's actually, wait, yeah. yeah. Right wait, here. okay, that makes sense. Okay. This bedroom is so small. I love this. 
How much is this? So this is $35.50 per month. There's a free month of rent and it's a 12-month lease. Everything is you know, everything's gonna be a 12-month lease. Like wait, the, I'm like so impressed. I could see myself living in this. Are you saying that so you don't tank my business? <laughs> Maybe. So two cool. bedrooms, one bathroom, mm -hmm. a quarter of a kitchen. Uh yeah. <laughs> Pretty much it. Alright. <laughs> Let's head over to the West Village. You got it. Okay. Which is more desirable, East or West? West. Okay. Oh, okay. Price here. Okay. So this is a really small building. There's only three units that you can rent in the oh. entire thing. And there is a store for rent downstairs. This is probably one of the best deals in the area at this moment. Yeah. All right. Totally different vibe in this one. Yep. And this is my favorite that we're gonna see today because the neighborhood is a 10 out of 10. We're in the West Village. It's one of the priciest parts of town. We're near Washington Square Park, and this whole place is only $2,000. I say only because most of what's in this neighborhood and looks like this costs a lot more. So cool. Okay, so here, you know, you open up to your living space. Awesome, really tall ceilings. Okay, I know it gets hot here, but like I could imagine an amazing chandelier coming down. I'm surprised they honestly didn't make it like a loft in space. Yeah. From the photos, I thought it was. That, that would have been cool. I just yeah. think like when we rent apartments, a lot of times if an apartment has a loft, mm -hmm. people will think it's weird because it's like non-traditional. Mm -hmm. And even though it's more functional, even though I agree with you, it's just, yeah. In the overall market, it's like not having a loft might be better. I see. Yeah. Like it takes a, I, I would imagine a lofted space where you can't fully stand up, like fit, at least 50% of people will just go no. Yeah. Solid living space though, really nice. Here you've got your bedroom and it's got this cool kind of like slatted effect here to let in natural light built-ins, you can make this look really fun. It's got molding, character, charm, all the things. Really quite large and cozy. Solid little bathroom right here. I liked the other bathroom just a little bit better, but hey, this one's not bad, not bad. And then um, I would say the most interesting part, these kitchens are really blowing my mind. <laughs> This is so crazy. Honestly, wow. Is it, this a, this is a fridge, yeah. That is the fridge, yeah. That's the fridge. You've got like, above that there's a little cabinet. I would feel like my life is constantly in shambles. Well, you'd be constantly going to the grocery store. Yeah. I'd have one plate, one fork, one knife. What would you plug in in the outlet above the? Ooh. Oh, I would have probably the smallest Nespresso maker that they make and I'd prop it right here and I'd plug it into the outlet and then I'd be good to go. This looks pretty new though, like oh, the new tile. You know what? This looks nice. You build a shelf, Ooh. you build a shelf and then you plug something in and then put it on the shelf. That's smart. And then whatever it is, it just, Why don't, if you it doesn't have hot there liquid, too. you could, it just, I hope it doesn't have hot liquid in it. You <laughs> pulling it down from above your head. For real, that'd be scary. It could, it yeah. Poorly. But it's so nice, nice little kitchen nook. This is great. It's so cute that like, you'll forgive it, right? And to get yeah. the rest of this, you'll be like, you know what? It works. Yeah, it's a good one. I think I do like this one better than the last one now. The owner told me, I don't know if he was joking, he told me this last week that for $15 million you can buy the whole building. 15 million? 15 million only, he said. This one feels so different. It's very different. Yeah. We're looking at a one bedroom? Yeah, this is a one bedroom. It's spacious though. It is, it better be because this, so the last place we saw that studio that was like trying to be a one bedroom, that was $2,000. Mm -hmm. This is over twice the amount of money as what that cost. This is $45.95. We are on the 26th floor in downtown Tribeca. That's a lot of money for a one bedroom. But it's nice. But it is nice. So this is large, really large living space, right? I mean, mm -hmm. super nice. Tribeca with these incredible views. What are we looking off to then? So right there, you can see One World Trade. That's amazing. It's like looking right at us. It's, it's so beautiful. But what's really cool, like just look over there, look at all that old New York City architecture. Yeah. That is oh like- Oh my gosh, and all the rooftops. Yeah. That's cool. It has less charm than the other ones. 
Because all the charm is out the window. Just literally, yeah. Okay, yeah, these views are really nice. Yeah, you have like an actual, like you could put like a dining table here. And a real kitchen, real large kitchen, nice, new, modern. Dishwasher, like full-size fridge. This reminds me of my fridge in Palm Springs. Over here, closet space. Washer and dryer, that's cra that is, that's crazy. If I lived here, I think, yeah, I would need that. I really would. What's crazy is that until you're paying like this kind of money, you don't see a washer dryer. That's so crazy. It is crazy, yeah. Here is the bathroom. It's small, but hey, like new tile and everything. And I actually like when the bathroom's small because why waste your valuable square footage on a bathroom that you're like barely in, you know? The bedroom. Again, this is a larger size bedroom for sure. Incredible views and walk-in closet with some built-ins, a little bit. You did a really good job because actually, my favorite of the day, if I really had to choose one, it would be number two. Really? Yeah, like that price was so good, that neighborhood's so good. Number one had the best light, but I could see myself really living in that neighborhood. True. It was great. What about this one, too much? Okay, like this one, one if I were paying more than $4,000, I would want like floor to ceiling windows. Mm. I really want like that kind of thing. It's out there too. Yeah, yeah, so so that, that's kind of where I'm at there. But this was awesome. Thank you for showing me actual New York apartments. I've always wanted to see them. And who knows, maybe one day I actually will move here. All right, so if you guys want to see more apartment tours in New York, check out Cash's channel. I'll have it linked below, and he can help you find a spot to live too. I can try. Yeah. I am worried for someone because there's just a key right here. Uh -oh. <laughs> I could use this as a B-roll shot. Yeah, that's so perfect. Apartment hunting. <laughs> but for real, whoever that is, I hope they find it. New York City apartments. There's truly nothing like that. But could I live the lifestyle? Honestly, I think so. At least for a little bit. It's never something that I pictured for myself growing up, but it's really taken me by surprise how much I actually like New York. Maybe one day I will move here, but for now, it's back to Seattle.